On this most pleasantly clear evening, conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods, it surely must be. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. And already we're underway here. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Alexandro. Especially on the overlap down that left-hand side. He can swing in a, a tasty cross from the byline or cut in himself and take a shot. Best of all, he's so incredibly fit that he can keep doing it for 90 minutes by which time the opposition start to flag, and he's still going strong. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. Arthur goes looking. Over to the left. Come. It's not the game we were hoping for, Peter. I think both of these keepers could text about their respective uninvolvement. Rincon. Goes for the cross. Ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw. Get a throw in. William. Arthur. Forward it goes. Thiago Silva. William provides an outlet. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Danny Alves with the cross. Gets good distance on it. Brazil have it back and they can go again. And it's Alexandro. Alexandro. Header! Caused a worry or two. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work though. Good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? A really good feat. That's great strength on the ball. There are a few waiting for it. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. William. Arthur. Arthur switches it towards the other side. He's not played the ball, that's a foul. Well played, he saw that coming. And it's half-time here. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. That's the first half compared with your expectation. 
Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story as one side has been significantly better, at least defensively. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. So we're just settling back into this second half. Brazil clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Rincon. Oh, sweet feet. Rincon. Still absolutely nothing to report here, goals-wise. to get it forward quickly. A really good feat from him. That's gone a long way up and away. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection of what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. Marquinhos. It's all a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. And it's played forward. Richarlison. William. It's a loose. Tries a shot! Away from immediate danger. into a dangerous position. Well, decisiveness has deserted them, Peter. They need precision, and it's sadly absent. And it's Danny Alves. Lovely bit of skill. Philippe Coutinho. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, better communication and, and lots of contact seems to be the, the route to quietening him down now. Gets the better of his man. Chance to shoot. Ball swung in. Venezuela showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. How many interceptions have we seen now? Someone's got to up the quality and, and set an example. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Fence has got rid of that. That's it, we're going to get 30 minutes more. Yeah, neither side has anything to show for some splendid effort.